Have you ever wondered how people knew how much sand to put inside an hourglass? Because it looks precise. But no one was counting grains. First, a quick reset. An hourglass was not the first way people measured time. Long before this, people used sundials and water clocks. Hourglasses appear much later. We can't name one confirmed inventor. Early origins are unclear. But we do have early evidence. One of the most widely cited European images comes from Siena, dated 1338-1339. It's a fresco painted by Ambrogio Lorenzetti in the Palazzo Publico. It shows the symbolic figure Temperance holding an hourglass. So how did it actually keep time? Not by counting sand. Once it starts flowing, the grains usually fall at a fairly steady pace. The timing depends mostly on the size of the neck and the properties of the grains. Makers figured this out by testing. They adjusted the opening. They tried different materials. They timed it. Then they adjusted it again. And it wasn't always literal sand. Some hourglasses use materials like powdered stone or finely ground eggshell. That's why hourglasses caught on, especially on ships. Easy to flip, easy to repeat. Useful for short standard time intervals. The secret wasn't magic sand, it was consistent flow, and a lot of trial and error.